What do you think, folks? You think that's a turtle that's sitting and waiting to eat? Look at his foot up on the uh, terracotta tile that goes around his terrarium. That is cute. It's just too cute. Also a quick tip. Um, I put the tongs in the dishwasher because they have like little crevices and it, just think of it like a fork uh, or any eating utensil. You want things to be kept clean for your turtle. So that's just one more little tip. For what okay, it's here goes nothing. I have got him a worm sandwich. And I am going to try to film this. And I'm going to try to tuck that worm in there. Let Sparky see it. And I'm not going to be able to use the tongs, even though you don't want to do this. Just don't do what I do. But I, I don't see any way. Now he just got a bite of this Swiss chard. And he is eating on it. See, you got to outsmart your turtle. It, you've got to try whatever it takes. Now, he's going to have to eat possibly another little bite in order to get to it safe. Nope, he was too slick for me. That did not work well, guys. Now he's got a banana worm sandwich. So we'll see how this goes. Now that one was coated in banana, so he gets a little taste of the banana. Okay, so now I got a dinosaur worm sandwich. Oh, let me move this out of the way. I'm going to risk my life by not having the tongs. Okay, see, now he took a bite. Because he, he took another bite, guys. I think I'm on to something of the dinosaur kale. He's trying to spit it out though. He says, no sir. Okay. He done pulled half of it out. He just ate a piece by strict accident of the kale because he figures there's more good stuff in there somewhere. Aha! He sees it. Give me some of that. I want that. I do not want any more greens, guys. Don't make me eat greens, please. I don't think this is working that well um, because I think it works better having it chopped up. I think there's a better chance. I, I just thought I would try this and see, but what's happening is maybe I could, if I had two hands, maybe I could make it work better. Um, It's 
just not working well. Because see, he doesn't, it needs to be, I think better choice is when it's chopped up. But I thought I would try this, so for what it's worth. Not worth a lot. Let's see, he's got, he just got another bite. He's trying to tear, rip it out of his mouth, but he did get another bite of this. I don't have any idea how many that is. It's probably five or so. Ah, I should have smashed it up. So he is supposed to be like a, a parasite cleanse. So this is a worm wrapped in parsley. But he asked more than me. So this, this is just not working. It just has to be chopped. So I just thought it was worth a try. So I just will give up on this time. I'll just put another worm in the banana. He wins again. You see, these have gotten a pretty decent size in five days. So it really is working out great. I made a little hole on the side. So he can see it, I decided to go with the Swiss chard. But this isn't going to work. It's just going to work. Oh, he got a piece of the Swiss chard. Bit. I embedded it in the banana. See, he don't he don't like fruit either. So by me doing that, I probably am not going to get him to eat it. So I'll take it out. I don't know, that could be eight or so. Here we go. Another sandwich, worm sandwich. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yep, this is definitely not working. Took another bite out of the green, though. He's shoving it in his face.
right here is who knows how many, 10 maybe. Um, and I've got another sandwich from the dinosaur kale. And he has been getting a little bit of greens, but this is definitely not the way to go, I don't believe. Here comes a super worm beetle up to have a snack. Underneath this rock here is lots of uh, roly-polies usually, because when I get done feeding, I lift that rock up, you know, to clean it and whatever, there's, it's a home to a lot of roly-polies and sow bugs. So they get their feast at the same time Sparky does. I just gave him one that I didn't film, that I was trying to use both hands and get a little more greens in him. Uh, I think he's probably just about all he's going to be able to stuff in him today. So there's a dozen. Uh, so I think I'm going to stop on that. I think he's had a dozen. I may give him one more since I'm not really sure. Um, he's eating pretty hard. I'll just put one more. He's hanging onto the stem of the uh, Swiss chard. Sparky was really hungry today, and he was, he was sitting by his feeding station. I didn't realize it, but he was sitting there waiting. He was ready to chow. He remembered those tasty treats. And really, this is, this is not a good way to do it, guys, because what you need to do when they're good and hungry is give them a few and then force them, basically, to eat the greens or go without, but I'm not good with doing that, and I know it's not right. That could be 13 right here, and uh, I think 12 is probably about all about his limit. Y'all stuffed? Okay, I think we'll call it a day.